because that leopard ha maybe has to move around if there's not a lot of prey species around that can be a big problem too and they will vulnerable then but it, it almost actually goes right back down to the soil types that determines what type of vegetation you'll get which then in rule will determine what uh, what prey species you'll find around there so Stephen that you are most 100% certain and what a great question that was a really really nice one that's come through I think it was my favorite question this morning it's a it was a it was a good one I haven't had anybody ask that in a, in a very very long time so thank you for that but here is the queen she is fast asleep in a marula tree she doesn't look like she's moved in ages I just I always think it's amazing especially the way that she's sat herself on that branch she hasn't got any legs on either side uh, you know sort of holding her in position we often see that and then I can understand how easy it is for a leopard to stay put in a tree but my goodness I don't know about any of you but I move around quite a bit in my sleep I dr have vivid dreams and if I were to sit up on the tree like that without holding on with, without my legs wedged on either side of the tree I'd roll off straight off of that branch very very quickly and I'm sure that there are a few of you that do the same thing and animals dream too the, that article that we, I was telling you about, about elephants sleeping, they reckon that elephants don't dream as much because they don't go into the REM state. But cats do. You see them often twitching, you know, as if they are chasing something. Oh, we saw you, Karula. We saw you open your eyes there. She's actually pretended that she didn't. And you see them often twitching their paws or sometimes moving around. So they're definitely dreaming. And I, well, oh yeah, I wouldn't be a very good leopard. Hello, girl. I think she's thinking about what she's going to do next. And I'm sure she'll just have a little bit of a break here. I don't know where the cubs are. I actually bumped into Andres and uh, one of the other guards in the area. And he'd said to me that late last night he'd seen one of Karula's cubs in little Gowry running around. So I went down and had a look, but no luck, no tracks coming in. But also those roads are quite saturated. So if there were any tracks, they would be completely covered with water. Here she goes. She's now sat herself up. Hello, beautiful. Looking about. And she'll do that. She'll just keep checking every now and then to see if any impala or nyala, which there are often a lot around, uh, have moved into the area because they won't see her up top, especially with the wind circulating at the moment. What have you seen, girl? She does not look very impressed this morning. That is not that is not a happy Karula face. <laughs> what has got your bonnet in a twist, like, yeah, madam? If she, only she knew she went about 150 yards to the south, southeast of her, where she is now, she would find a huge herd of impala. And a lot of them started to sit down now, that same group that we saw with the zebra, and I don't think that they would even hear her coming with this wind. It's really, really good conditions, which makes it very, very exciting for this afternoon. And we know that Karula loves to hunt during the hours that the other leopards don't. She's very, very active during the day. But most cats on a day, cool day like today, a bit of wind, a bit of uh, rain, they'll all be out and about. You know what I've always wanted to see? I, I watched a video, and I think it was in Botswana that the video was taken. It's a very famous uh, clip of a leopard, I kid you not, rocketing out of the top of a tree straight down and grabbing an impala from while it was in the tree. It was unbelievable. It just ran straight down the trunk and then landed on top of this impala. It was one of the most amazing hunting techniques I've ever seen, and I would absolutely love to come across something like that I know I wonder if she spotted something she's moving around she's looking to the right a bit south of her there we go you see how she's intrigued ears pointed forward those quick movements with her eyes well she did for a moment now she looks like she's going to relax again maybe she'd seen something and then she'd pulled a tailor and it wasn't quite what she thought it was we'll see we'll just have to wait here and find out Hey girl, we're not going to go anywhere. Brent's not too far from here. I wonder, hopefully Karula will pay Brent another visit. I think that was fantastic that he got to experience that this morning. But we're going to sit with Karula and see if she decides to come out of a tree and perhaps go on a, a little walkabout. But let's, well, literally walk a couple of yards across to Brent and join him in the tent. 
Well, what a wonderful morning it's been in the tent.